Today we're talking all about the companion backpack from 12 Little. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and on this channel we talk about everything from product reviews, bag reviews and more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today we're going to take a look at the companion backpack from 12 Little. Now, this bag is not new to the 12 Little lineup, but it is new to me. I've seen it on their site for a really long time. I finally bit the bullet and I bought the companion backpack and then I also bought the little tiny one for my daughter that is almost three. Um, I figured she could use that for preschool or kindergarten and um, they came in a set. It was kind of a holiday promotion. So, all that to say, I'm super, super excited about them. And if you want to see a review of the smaller one, just let me know. But today we're going to talk about this guy. I love the blush color that 12 Little puts out, and I love the quilted fabric. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to show you how I have it all packed up for me and my kiddos, and um, walk you through some of the features, and yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, before we dive into what I have packed inside, let me walk you around the exterior of the bag and talk to you about some of the features. So on the front of the bag, you're gonna have a little magnetic pocket right here. Really nice, a generously sized zippered pocket here. This pocket goes down to about right here. And then on the sides, you're going to have insulated bottle pockets. Those are really nice, one on each side. And then on the back of the bag, you're going to have a grab handle and these really nice, soft, squishy, cushiony backpack straps. They are very comfortable to wear. Um, and then you also have another pocket right here on the back. So, in addition to all the pockets, the bag also comes with a changing pad. Um, I don't carry mine around because my daughter is out of diapers, thank goodness. Um, but it does come with a light changing pad that matches the interior of the bag, which is really, really nice. So, let's go ahead and see how I have it all packed Right, up. let's go ahead and start with what I have packed in this front magnetic pocket. In here, I have a package of wet ones and then I have a little Polaroid <laughs> picture that my kids took. And that is all I have in that front pocket. It's a great little slip pocket. In this front zippered pocket, it's a really generously sized pocket. I have my huge key leash <laughs> that has my OpenTure key ring and my lippy clip on it. And then I also have my hand sanitizer from Touchland that you guys know I love, love, love. I also have my Mara phone sling. This is from Dagny Dover. This is a great option if you just need to run in and out of a store really quickly. You can have your phone and your cards and everything that you might need. And then this is what, let me kind of tip the bag forward. This is what that pocket looks like. Nice and huge and awesome. And it has a little key leash in there with that rose gold hardware as well. In this front pocket, I have my mask. Looks really cute with the bag. Um, and then I have my wallet. I'm using this little Dagny Dover card case. It's a little accordion card case. Super cute. Um, and then I have two lip products and a pen. I went ahead and I popped my 25 ounce Awala water bottle in this bottle pocket. And that fits in there. There you go. And then on the other side, I actually don't have anything in this pocket. I'm leaving it empty. In the back pocket right here, this is kind of a sneaky little pocket in the very back. Um, I just have, let me kind of unzip it. I just have a little sticker book and coloring book for my daughter and then a little notebook for myself. I did want to mention on the bottom of the bag, you do have four rose gold feet to help keep your bag lifted off of the ground. All right, now let's take a look at what I have packed up inside. The zipper stops go all the way down just below the bottle pocket right here. So it's allowing you to open it nice and wide and access what you need. You can really just reach down in there, no problem at all. Um, let me take this out first so we can see the bag better. This is just a little reusable Ziploc with some snacks. Um, I have a couple candy canes in there for bribery. But now you can see a bit better. You have two slip pockets right here. Um, and this slip pocket is actually wide enough to hold my notebook. Um, just so you have an idea that can fit in there. So it's a really nice size, really, really nice size. Right now what I have packed up in there is my Tubby Todd hand cream, um, more hand sanitizer, and a all right, in the pocket next to it, I have a pen, 
and I have a, let's see, and I have a portable charger, and then I also have my kids' masks for them. All right, behind that, you have the remainder of the bag. You can open it nice and wide, and I have three pouches in here um, in this main section. In this first pouch, um, this is part of the 12 Little Trio. I have all of the potty training needs for my daughter, so I have, um, I have some wipes in my wipe case, wet bag for soiled clothing, pull-ups, trash bags, just in the event of an emergency. Next to that, I have a pouch from Stony Clover, and I have this little Hello Kitty pouch packed up with a bunch of snacks for my kids. I have little Made Good bars, I have some gummy bears in there, um, and then I have some fig bars. Can never have too many snacks. All right, the last pouch in the middle section is my med kit, and this is from Dagny Dover. This is the Hunter toiletry case, and in here I just have all of my med supply stuff. Um, I love using this case for med supplies because I can separate out like my Tylenol and stuff is up here. I have my Neosporin, deodorant, <laughs> all of that, my bug bite thing down there and then in the little zippered pouch which is removable and you can actually take it off like that I have band-aids and all that good stuff and the hundred toiletry pouch does come in two sizes this is the small size and it's in the color bandage all right here is a look at that empty space look at how nice that is ah so much room in this bag um, you still have more pockets so in the back in these elastic pockets I have the smallest size pouch from the trio from 12 Little. And in here I have um, a couple of little activities for my kids. I have a popping toy, I have little race cars, I have the reusable straw. And then in the compartment next to that, I have another little plastic case. And this is going to have a, a coloring book and some crayons inside of it. I found the coloring book at the dollar spot. It's super cute and it's helpful if you're out and about with kiddos. All right, so now that, that main compartment is totally empty, that's what it looks like. There's one more pocket on the bag and it is in the very, very back. And back here I have some little soap sheets, I have my little travel scissors, I have a hair tie, I have lip products, I have my pill case, and another hair tie and a concealer. <laughs> so that is what was packed up inside of my 12 little companion bag. Such a great bag, such a great size. Let me show you what it looks like when I'm wearing it. All right guys, so that's it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys again in my next one.